Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into the world of network expansion with a focus on a wireless network bridge. Now, whether you're trying to connect two buildings or extend your Wi-Fi to remote areas, wireless network bridges can be your solution. And if you're looking for tailored tech support, you can get a free tech consultation from our team of experts and discover the best solution for your tech needs. Just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. So in today's digital age, having a reliable and widespread network is essential for seamless connectivity and productivity. And wireless network bridges play a vital role in this by extending the reach of your network without the need of cumbersome cables. But what exactly are wireless network bridges? Now, wireless network bridges are devices that connect two or more separate networks or segments wirelessly. And they essentially act as bridges between different networks, allowing seamless communication between them. Now, let's break down the features and functions of wireless network bridges. Now, they come packed with features like high-speed data transfer, secure connection, and the ability to operate in various environments. And they function by establishing a wireless link between two or more locations, enabling data transmission over long distances. And there are different types of wireless network bridges, including point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint bridges. Now let's explore the differences and advantages. So point-to-point -point bridges connect two locations directly, making them ideal for scenarios like connecting two buildings. On the other hand, point-to-multipoint -point bridges connect multiple locations to a central hub, extending Wi-Fi coverage to remote areas. So now let's talk about our new wireless network bridge model. We upgraded it from point-to-point -to, -point to point to multipoint now, and also with IP65 rating, a 5 km transmission range, and dual power supply options of PoE and DC. So these bridges are designed for ease of use and reliability, making them perfect for various deployment scenarios. And if you want to know more about these bridges, you can watch our other videos. But before you rush to install them, it is essential to plan your setup carefully. Performing a site survey is crucial to determine the best locations for your bridges. You should begin by physically inspecting the area where you intend to install the bridges, taking notes of any obstacles such as buildings and trees that could potentially obstruct the line of sight. And also utilize tools like signal strength meters or smartphone applications to measure signal strength and identify potential interference sources. And when deploying point-to-point -point connection, having a clear line of sight between the bridges is paramount, as any obstruction can significantly degrade the signal quality and limit transmission range. So now, let's dive into the installation process. So setting up the wireless network bridges involves several steps to ensure a seamless and stable connection. Today we are going to connect to a bullet camera and display video footage on a big screen monitor. Not only you can connect to IP camera, you can also connect to WAP if needed. And firstly, let's begin with proper mounting technique to ensure stability and optimal signal transmission. You should secure your bridges using a high quality mounting bracket and also choose a sturdy mounting location with a clear line of sight with an other wireless bridge, just like this. So now let's do the connection from our beginning. Right here, we have a network video recorder already connected to the router. And this router will provide internet access and data to our bridges. So I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router. And let's go to our bridge on this side. So let's take it out. 
As you can see, this is the LAN port where we going to connect the router. This is the PoE port and the power supply. You should take advantage of the adaptive power options such as this 24 volt to 48 volt PoE and the DC 12 volt to provide power to the bridge according to your specific requirement and infrastructure setup. So today we are using the PoE to power up our bridge, plug in the ethernet cable from our PoE injector here. Now this PoE injector allows you to have more distance between the power supply and the bridge, give you extended coverage. And this side we're done. So this is the one button, this one pairing button. It's easy, just press it and it will start communicating with the other bridge. So let's get to our bridge here. Doing the same thing, plug in the PoE port with the Ethernet cable. This is another short patch cord. We're going to connect it to our bullet camera. And let's not forget to press this button and connect it with the bullet camera. And also you should keep an eye on the signal indication to verify a strong and stable connection between the bridges. And you can adjust the setting if necessary to minimize interference and optimize performance. So now we're looking at our big screen monitor. We should get the image in a short time. Here we go. So let me wave my hand. To show you this is absolutely a live video. So by following these steps and utilizing our advanced features of the wireless network bridges, now you can create a robust and reliable wireless network with ease. So here we go with the wireless network bridges set up. Now you can see it is up and running perfectly fine. So that wraps up today's video on expanding your network with wireless network bridges. If you want to learn more about point to multipoint setup, be sure to check out our next video. And thank you very much for joining us. Before you go, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.